Thanks for dropping in. Last summer, I released the Modular Desktop Fountain, a 3D printed water fountain that you can customize using swappable parts. In this video, I'm going to share three new Halloween modules, as well as several non-holiday upgrades to the fountain. But before we get to my updates, the Modular Fountain has received a huge number of remixes by other designers. So I wanted to take a moment to highlight a few of them, including dynamic water features, alternate snap-in plates, pots for plants, more base layouts, and practical improvements to help keep water flowing inside the fountain, not onto your desk. Check out the video description for links to these and even more remixes. Okay, let's get back to the Halloween stuff. The first new module is a gravestone, which comes in two versions. This grave has a trickling stream that originates below a rest in peace engraving. The second gravestone sends water down the sides of the fountain. The front of this gravestone is blank, so this would be a good option if you want to customize your own spooky tombstone messages. To give these prints a suitably rustic finish, I use the fuzzy skin setting available in Cura and Prusa Slicer. It really helps hide the telltale layer lines in many 3D prints. Next up is the pumpkin fountain. In this module, water flows from under the pumpkin lid and cascades down all sides. This also comes in two versions, one with an attached lid and another where the lid just bobs around with the water. Just like the pumpkin bobbleheads I released a few weeks ago, the stems can be printed separately for an easy two color print. The next Halloween update is an overflowing witch's cauldron. This is available both as a bubbling fountain or as a passive basin for water to flow into. This cauldron, as well as all the fountains I've shown, is a very easy print and requires no supports. There is also a third cauldron design. This one has a very large hole in the bottom. The hole is for an ultrasonic atomizer. Just add water and it produces some spooky mist. I cannibalized this module from an old Halloween decoration, which happened to include LED lights. I've seen similar hardware online for about 10 bucks, or for a whole lot cheaper, if you're willing to assemble and solder the raw components. Unfortunately, this pre-assembled atomizer is a bit too tall. There's just not enough space in the standard base to hide it. That's where the next update comes in, a much taller base. This base is 18 millimeters taller than the original. This comes from an outer wall that's 12 millimeters higher and a basin that's six millimeters deeper. Now there's more than enough room to hide the mister or other tall fountain components. The best part of the taller base is these new spacer plates. These can be used to raise sections of the fountain higher than others for more dynamic vertical layouts. You can also attach spacers to other spacers for even more height. In some cases, the stack spacers will place a fountain too high for the pump to reach. In those situations, I've created TPU extenders, and those help span the distance. The final update combines two of my most popular recent projects, the modular fountain and fully 3D printed bobbleheads. With this bobblehead plate, you can attach any bobblehead you want to the base of your fountain. Or if you prefer a more prominent placement, this remix of the plateau fountain adds a bobblehead connector all the way up at the top. Between the growing number of fountain modules and the rapidly expanding universe of bobbleheads, there's an absurd number of ways you can customize your own desktop fountain. That's a wrap for this year's Halloween projects. I hope I've kept your printers busy. So until next time, happy Halloween, and thanks for stopping by. Ha! I lied. There are two more updates. These were just a bit too small to get their own separate videos. The pumpkin bobblehead now has three carved faces. Happy, scary, and classic. These expressions do have a couple sharp overhangs, 
which may require supports on some printers. But if you do add supports, just limit it to the face area. As always, the center of the bobblehead prints just fine without them. The next update is to the twist lock pumpkin. It's now not a twist lock pumpkin. Just drop the lid on for simple and easily thwartable candy protection. This simple container is available in all the same styles as the twist lock version. Plain, Smile, and Evil Grin. Both of these projects are the results of requests I've received. So let me know if you have an idea that would make any of my designs better. I can't fulfill every request I get, but yours may be something that shows up in a future video. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for stopping by.